the monetary system is equivalent approximately to uh, geography and the way that water flows across it. The water being indicative of the willingness of other people to change and the actual geography being your willingness to change. Um, so the ways that you change can hold on to or increase the flow of the water off of you. So you can, you can hold on to the water or not. Um, and the ways that you that you change in order to hold on to the potential change of others, so that's actually stopping them from changing, holding on to the potential of them changing. Um, you can view this as debt, right? But the visible debt, the debt that's on the surface, um, that's the money, right? That's what's inside of the monetary system. Every asset that's gotten pulled into the economic system is uh, the visible water. Okay. Um, in a healthy uh, water system, um, most of the water is actually underground in the floodplains, uh, just soaked up into the, into the soggy earth and feeding all the plants. Uh, so you have a giant cycle, the flood cycle, on the largest scale, the flood cycle is the sun heats up the oceans and causes clouds, which cause rain down the mountains, flows down your floodplains, and if you haven't been set up properly, it just all washes all, all, out straight back to sea, and takes a lot of your uh, dirt with it. Um, but if you set it up well, then as the floodwaters from the ocean pour down your floodplains, you catch it and make secondary little oceans, which have localized little um, ways of siphoning the water up into the air and creating localized rainfall again, uh, just like the ocean did on the larger scale, but these systems are mostly uh, plant-based, so you got trees and bushes and shrubs and all that kind of stuff um, helping out this local little um, oceans um, to pump that potential for change back up again and back down again, so you, you cause little well, ecosystems, but most of it's actually outside of the monetary system, and it can't be monetized. All that is monetized is the the visible visible portion, which is by far the least part of it. The ponds and the rivers, which are above ground, which are just showing off the amount of stuff that's below ground and feeding all the plants. Now, when um, when you get absorbed completely into uh, the practice of monetary policies and so on, you you love money too much. What happens is you start to put in pond liners and uh, make concrete and you know cement um, borders for your rivers and etc. And the idea being that you keep more of the water above ground and stop it from infiltrating the soil. And um, it, it sounds like it would be great. I mean, it sounds like it would move more water into the economic system, if you know what I mean. But uh, the net effect of it, drying up all of the water that goes to the plants, you kill off all of those intermedi intermediary little oceans that are outside of the real economy, or the monetary economy. Um, you kill off those little oceans so you don't get the localized rainfall, and so it all sw like it just, it just washes all out to sea again. So all you end up with is floodwaters, floodwaters that are massive, but floodwaters nonetheless. That's all you get. And, um, and so what, what you can do what it looks like when you build these liners for all of your all of your water movement needs it looks like you have rivers and ponds but those rivers and ponds are not representing the water that's underneath they're just what they are um, and so in order to keep one running year round you have to pump the water back uphill um, or keep it stored in a big reservoir and a hole in the liner of your reservoir somewhere where it pours out into the floodplain, the, the greater floodplains, uh, it appears as a massive amount of waste. Uh, and you want to patch up those holes because to, to you it seems as if it's waste um, rather than uh, um, actually being the purpose of the entire above ground water structure in the first place. It just looks like it's going to waste. So, and um, you know, when you're growing crops and things, it's even worse because instead of pumping the water out like underneath the ground because you have a pond here and and then the fields next to it and so the water infiltrates the ground and the plants can suck it up instead of that you pour the water on top as if it's raining you know make artificial rain um, because you can't make real rain and you also can't feed them from underneath 
Um, and, and so it all turns into Ponzi schemes. These are, this is a description of Ponzi schemes, right? Is where all of the water is above ground and controlled and none of it enters into these secondary cycles of goodwill, you could say, where you're changing and being changed in ecosystems of uh, mutual respect and responsibility. Um, yeah, so I mean, if you want to go out there and make real wealth, make real money um, that actually benefits society, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to learn how to change yourself to fill needs. And the perfect place to start with that is since you are in a very great sense, not yourself, as in like your body and so on, um, are uh, disjointed from your will, right? The first place you can go to is just do the things that you actually need. And, and like if you're confused about whether that's pride or not, telling you to do X, Y, or Z thing, you know, pride doesn't make you want to do the dishes. Uh, like just do the dishes, you know? Like pride, pride is, uh, you can tell, you can tell what it is. Like, just, you know, do the things that you need done. And then as you get good at that, you'll start viewing others, uh, the same way. Whereas like, can I solve their problems? Oh, well in this circumstance, yes, I can. And when you, when you say, yes, I can, what you're saying is, yes, I can put a check dam here, right? I can slow down the water a little bit. I can change a little bit so that that change capacity is stored up so that they can also change in the future that they can that they can store up this potential for uh, well-being for goodness for being better um at a later date or, or for a different purpose um and and you don't have to call that back ever you know you can just leave it in pools and reservoirs and uh, and let it do its thing it's not it's not a ponzi scheme you are you are changing yourself in order to create the positive potentials that undergird everything. And, and you're going to leave it that way. You're going to leave it that way, make the world, world a better place.